my name's Willa Paris Charlton, student number T007255594, and this is Gotham, and together we will be completing the video portion for assignment two, skeletal system, for the course anatomy and physiology one. Starting with the skull, the most rostral bones would be the incisive bones. Caudal to the incisive bone is the nasal bone. The nasal turbinates are found in the nasal cavity and condition the inspired airflow by warming and humidifying it. Found on the left and right sides of the nasal bone are the maxillary bones. The temporal bone form the ventral lateral part of the cranium. The opening leading towards the middle and inner ear is called the external acoustic neatus, making, making up the lower jaw is the mandible. The ramus is the caudal end of the mandible that is the vertical part that forms the temporal mandibular joints. The frontal bones form the forehead and the periental bones form the ventrolateral parts of the cranium. The frontal sinuses are contained in the dorsal part of the frontal bones and medial dorsal location to the orbit orbital cavities. The occipital bone forms the caudal ventral part of the skull back here. There are seven cervical vertebrae that are found in the neck region. Uh, C1, the atlas, is the first cervical uh, vertebrae found uh, just um, caudal to the skull. Uh, C2, the axis, is the second cervical vertebrae. The uh, thoracic vertebrae are located dorsal to the thorax and can be palpated using one finger to feel the tall dorsal spinous process and two other fingers to feel the lateral projection of the transverse spinal process. Starting around the withers and moving in a caudal direction until I hit the last row. The lumbar vertebrae are dorsal to the abdomen region and caudal to thoracic vertebrae. I also palpate these larger vertebrae the same way starting from the last rib moving in a caudal direction until I meet the pelvis. Sacral vertebrae are caudal to the lumbar vertebrae and move towards uh, the base of the tail. The cocktail vertebrae are caudal to the sacral vertebrae and include the base of the tail and the tail bones. The ribs form the lateral walls of the thorax and consist of 13 pairs or 26 ribs in total. The sternum runs along the long closest to the ventral surface forming the floor of the thorax. The most cranial sternobrae is called the manubrium and the most caudal sternobrae is called the xiphoid process. The most proximal bone of the thoracic limb is the flat bone called the scapula. The spine of the scapula refers to the lateral surface on the longitudinal ridge of the scapula. Located on the brachium is a long bone called the humerus, and the greater tubercle is the largest part formed on the proximal cranial end of the humerus. Uh, the radius is the larger bone found on the antebrachium distal to the humerus. The proximal end of the radius articulates with another long bone located on the antebrachium called the ulna. 
the large process forming the point of the elbow of the proximal end of the ulna is called the olecranian process. Distal to these long bones is the carpus. Extending distally from the carpus are the five metacarpal bones. Distal to the metacarpal bones are the five digits that are made up of phalanges. The names of these three phalanges are according to position are the proximal, middle, and distal phalanges. The ilium is the most cranial bone of the pelvis that projects in a dorsal cranial direction and can be used as a landmark referred to as the wing. The ischium is the caudal most part of the pelvic bone with a caudal facing process called the ischial tuberosity. The smallest pelvic bone located medially forming the most cranial part of the pelvic floor is the pubis bone. Uh, the socket of the hip joint made up of these three bones is called the antitubulum. Two large holes located in the left and right sides of the pelvic symphysis are called the orbitrature foramen. The femur is the long bone of the thigh that has proximal cranial end called the head of the femur that sits in the antibulum and a proximal caudal process with the largest greater trunk trochanter. Distal to the femur is the patella, the largest sesamoid bone. The two smaller sesamoid bones are called the medial and lateral fibella. The fibella is a thin long bone that runs parallel to the larger bone called the tibia. The proximal end of the tibia is shaped like a triangle with a forward point called the tibular tuberosity that continues distally as a ridge called the tibular crest. Distal to the tibia and fibia is the tarsus. The calcaneus is found in the proximal row of the tarsal bones. Distal to the tarsus are the four metacarpal bones. Falling distally to the metacarpal tarsal bones are the four digits made up of three phalanges called the proximal, middle, and distal phalanges. The mandibular lymph nodes are located on the left and right sides of the head, caudal to the mandible but cranial towards the neck. The parotoid lymph nodes is located just ventral to the ear. The axillary lymph node is located in the axillary region, also known as the armpit. The pescapular lymph node is located caudal direction from the scapula on the chest here. The inguinal lymph node is located on the middle surface of the medial surface of the thoracic limb in the inguinal or groin region and the popliteal lymph nodes are located on the caudal side of the stifle.